in this video, I'm going to show you how to embed your YouTube live streams and upcoming live streams on your WordPress website in beautiful feeds like this without needing any coding skills. To do this, we're going to be using the Smash Balloon YouTube Feed Pro plugin. The plugin allows you to create fast and responsive YouTube feeds in only a matter of minutes. To purchase and download the plugin, head over to smashballoon.com. And once purchased, you can find your download link and license key for the plugin inside your Smash Balloon account. Go ahead and download YouTube Feed Pro and head over to your WordPress dashboard. And installing YouTube Feed Pro is just like installing any other plugin. Hover over plugins on the left-hand side and click on Add New. Then go and click on Upload Plugin at the top and upload the zip file for YouTube Feed Pro, like this, and click on Install Now. Then go and click on Activate Plugin. There we go, YouTube Feed Pro has now been installed and activated. But before we go and create a feed of our YouTube live streams, let's go and activate the license key for our plugin. On the left-hand side, you'll now notice YouTube Feed. Hover over it like this and click on Settings. You can copy and paste the license key from your Smash Balloon account and click on Activate. And there we go, our license key has now been activated, so we can begin creating our YouTube feed. On the left-hand side, under YouTube Feed, click on All Feeds. Then go and click on Add New at the top. With YouTube Feed Pro, you have several different feed types you can create. For example, you can create a feed of videos from any YouTube channel, feed of videos from any YouTube playlist, a feed of videos that you favorited, and more below. Since we're embedding our YouTube live streams, you can go and select live streams like this, and then go click on Next. And now we'll have to enter our YouTube API key. I've already got mine ready, but if you want to learn how to create one for yourself, you can click on the video tutorial on the top right corner of your screen, or follow our written tutorial in the description of this video. Go ahead and paste your API key and click on Add. On this tip, we'll have to add a source for our YouTube live stream feed. Copy your YouTube channel ID or username and paste it here like this, and then click on Next. And for our last step, we'll have to select from one of these professionally designed templates for the appearance of our YouTube feed. We have options like the default, carousel, cards, list, and more below. For this tutorial, let's go ahead with the gallery layout and click on Next. And straight away, we can see a preview of our brand new YouTube live stream feed. We can see all the videos that are currently going live right inside this feed. And with the layout we selected, we have the most recent video highlighted in a larger thumbnail as we can see here. We can now go ahead and embed our YouTube live stream feed on our WordPress webpage. But before I show you how to do that, let me show you how we can customize this. On the left hand side, under the Customize tab, click on Feed Layout. Here you can choose from several different layouts for your feed. Currently, we have the gallery layout, which highlights one video at the top, while we have the rest of the videos down below in a grid. And next, we have the grid layout, which displays all your videos in rows and columns like this. After that, we have the list layout, which displays all your videos in a single column list like this. And lastly, we have a carousel layout, where you can swipe through the videos like this. Going ahead with the gallery layout, if you look down below, you can choose how many columns you want to display on your feed. To change this, all you have to do is click on it like this and type in the number of columns you want to display. And instantly, that change will be made inside your live preview. I'm going to change that back to three. And if you look down below, you can also specify how many videos you'd like to display initially. Once you're happy with the layout of your YouTube videos feed, go and click on save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to modify the color palette of your feed, go and click on color scheme. As you can see currently, we're inheriting all of the colors from our WordPress theme. This means that our YouTube videos feed will automatically match the design of our website. Next, we have a light theme, a dark theme, or even a custom theme where you can select the exact colors you want for your feed like this. Once you're happy with the color palette of your feed, go and click on save on the top right corner. And now that you know how to customize your YouTube feed, let's go and embed this onto your live web page. To do this, go and click on embed on the top right corner, copy your dedicated shortcode, and click on add to a page. Select the page you want to add your feed to, and click on add. On our page, we have two different options to embed our YouTube live stream feed. We can either use a shortcode block and paste the shortcode we copied like this, or we can use a dedicated YouTube feed block for block editor like this. With this option, you'll instantly see a live preview of your YouTube live stream feed inside your web page. Now we can go and click on update and check out what it looks like on the front end. And now on our live web page, you can see our brand new YouTube live stream feed right in the middle of our web page. It's got the exact layout we selected and it's displaying all of our live videos inside our feed. If you go ahead and click on a video, you can watch a live YouTube video directly from your WordPress website. And if you wanted to add your YouTube live streams into the sidebar or footer of your website, you can do that as well. Back inside the plugin, I've just gone ahead and selected the widget template instead, and we can now go and click on Embed. You can go ahead and copy your shortcode, and instead of clicking on Add to a page, click on Add to a widget instead. And this brings us into the WordPress widgets menu. For this tutorial, let's go and add our YouTube live stream feed into the main sidebar. To do this, we have the same two options as before. We can either use a shortcode block and paste the shortcode for our feed, or we can use our dedicated YouTube feeds block for block editor like this. And instantly, you can see your YouTube feed inside the sidebar too. Go ahead and click on update, and let's go check out what it looks like on the live web page. Back on our live web page, right in the middle, you can see that YouTube live stream feed we created earlier. But on the right hand side, we now have a sidebar, and right inside, we have a new YouTube live stream feed as a widget too. And if you click on one of the videos, 
it will start playing live inside the sidebar itself. You can even go ahead and load more videos to see what other live stream videos there are on this channel. So we've successfully added a YouTube live stream feed right into the middle of our webpage and into the sidebar as a widget as well. If you have any questions about what we covered in this video, please let me know in the comments down below. If you run into any technical issues, please contact our awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.